Hello again, I'm here today to talk to you about one of my favorite subjects, wine pairings with chocolate, and why you want to stick around to find out and learn all you can about what to do and what not to do. What are some of the common questions people have about wine pairings with chocolate? Well, in all honesty, wine and chocolate are both aphrodisiacs and they actually can be paired well together. However, many people make a very big mistake with that. And that is the fact that chocolate and wine both can have very, very intense flavors. And it's not a case of that they have to be, you know, identical in terms of their intensity to find that perfect match. In fact, you would probably be better off trying to do a little bit less intense with the chocolate and more intense with the wine and vice versa. So some of the other things that I want to talk to you about today is dark chocolate pairings with wine, white or milk chocolate pairings with wine, as well as white chocolate pairings with wine. And of course, some of my favorite are, um, why they actually pair well together. I kind of touched on that already a little bit, but I'm going to go into it in more detail. So stick around here and we'll get right to it. Grab yourself a glass of wine and if you happen to have some, some chocolate. Now I'm not too picky about the chocolate, but any chocolate will actually do. And then we'll get right into it. Again, most people start off thinking, okay, I'm going to go grab my closest dearest chocolate bar that I love the most, which has all sorts of other components in it other than chocolate, such as nuts, sugar, and nougat, uh, you know, just to name a few of them. And, and therein, therein is already the problem because what you're trying to do is compare or pair the wine flavors with the pure chocolate. And that's very, very challenging even for someone who loves both of these items or both of these foods as much as I do. And I've, I've stumbled. I've, I've, I'm not going to lie. It's, it's at times I have made such a bad pairing that, uh, you know, I get cursed, uh, by the guests who happen to be eating dinner. Well, it's never gotten that bad, but the uh, idea is that, that you're supposed to find something that will enhance and uh, improve upon the existing flavors that are already present in both of those products. So a little bit rule of thumb is that generally the dark doesn't necessarily, or well, actually the dark doesn't go well with dark wines. And I'll explain a little bit what I mean by that. Dark chocolate um, is a, has flavonoids in it, similar to wine. Those are the tannins. We've spoken about this extensively in our red wine videos, but the, the dark chocolate tannins and the wine tannins, they don't like each other, especially in the red wines, which has more tannin than any other wine really. And they, they clash on your palate. They, they, they give a very unpleasant uh, uh, flavor. And it's basically like there's a guerrilla war going on in your tongue. And it's just, it, it's just not a pleasant place for your tongue to be. So what you want to try to do is make sure that the dark chocolate, which tends to usually in, in most instances be above 70% coca uh, content, pair it with something a little bit sweeter or a little bit lighter. Uh, our favorite here at the winery is pairing dark chocolates with ice wines. And there's two reasons for that. Ice wines tend to be very, very sweet, whereas dark chocolate, if it's usually of a better quality, tends to have an absolute low, qu low quantity of sugar to it. So it tends to be very, very bitter, very astringent in terms of the flavor. Astringent, for those of you that don't know what that means, check back on our earlier videos about red wine. It'll explain it in more detail. The idea is that you're trying to pair or, or compensate for these two competing um, components on your palate and make it an enjoyable experience, obviously. And the other reason for ice wine is because ice wines tend to have really strong flavors because they're concentrated due to the freezing process of the vines or the, rather the grapes on the vines. So therefore, usually the dark concentrate, dark chocolate, which has concentrated chocolate flavors with the concentrated wine, AKA ice wine, really pairs well together. Other wine pairings that go quite well with chocolate, and I'll get to these now, is milk chocolate. Uh, milk chocolate can pair well with a lot of the very uh, strong red wines that you might pair with something like a steak or uh, some sort of very, very strong flavored dish. And 
part of the reason is, is again, the milk in the chocolate acts sort of like a, uh, a counter, if you will, to the intense flavors that are in the actual chocolate or in the coca, which is why the manufacturer in the first place made milk chocolate because, hey, it's easier to, uh, it's easier on the palate and it's easier to digest in that, in, it's easier to consume in that instance versus uh, something that's pure coca. What you want to try to pair milk chocolate with is the, the bitter, more astringent flavored red wines that can, that you may have in your cellar. And especially if they're younger, more intense red wines, this is a perfect match. Um, sort of as an end of meal kind of idea. It's like, hey, let's have a little bit of fun and try some of this lovely chocolate with some of this excellent wine. Milk chocolate also pairs quite well with some more acidic white varieties. In our case, some Riesling does pair well. Our Riesling, sorry, does pair really well with uh, milk chocolate. I've tried this many times at home and absolutely adore it, um, as does my wife. Finally, um, the other pairing that I would be reminisced to talk about is white chocolate, which isn't actually technically chocolate because there's no cocoa in it. It's just a it's a mixture or an amalgamation of different flavors that provide a consistency similar to chocolate. But needless to say, it's been sold as white chocolate the for many, many decades now. And this has indeed uh, put itself in the hearts of minds of the consumers. And so now we have white chocolate. And this pairs well with a number of different wines, actually. Uh, the truth is because it doesn't really have those astringent or bitter components to it that dark chocolate does, it tends to be sort of a well-pleasing, easy to pair with um, chocolate when it comes to wines. And you can go all the way across the gamut. You can go with iced wines. You can go all the way down to down to your, your intense reds or your uh, very uh, uh, crisp whites to, to find whatever you like with white chocolate. Um, it does, of course, pair well with Pinot Noir. That is, that is one of the more challenging red wines to pair chocolate with. So do keep that in mind. Again, to, to kind of answer the question as to why chocolate and wine pair well together is, is it's, it's, it's harmony. You're, you're creating, you're creating a harmony of two different flavors and you just have to make sure that they aren't overpowering in terms of their, uh, marriage together in your palate. So some final thoughts on pairing wine with chocolate, a couple tips that I'd like to leave you with. One is to make, try to make sure that the wine is softer and juicier than the chocolate. And, and what I mean by that is you're looking for something like big and full bodied, but or very fruity in order to compensate for the chocolate, especially if it is a dark chocolate. The additional real easy tip is to make sure that the wine is sweeter than the chocolate you're trying and try not to do the reverse. It, it really doesn't work very well. So, that's it for today. My name is Roland Zimmerman. This has been our channel, Uncorked. Please drop us a like, and uh, if you could subscribe, we'd greatly appreciate it. It helps our channel grow, and we look forward to seeing you soon at, here at the winery, as well as hope to hear some, some new questions. Always looking for new content. Thank you very much. Cheers, my friends.